I just got everything unplugged. I'm gonna take these two screws off. Unplugged all that. Unplugged the batteries. Now I'm about to unbolt the charge board. But it looks like there's plenty of room to the motherboard from the charge board, so I shouldn't have to mess with the motherboard. Well, we'll find out. All right, now that you got your three screws loose on the control board, just kind of get it loose on the silicon, and that's it. That's the old one. And here's the new one. You can see the new one has a wire sticking up from my board. The old one does not. So all you gotta do is take the new one, get some silicone, put it in the holes. to go screw everything back together all right after you take the three bolts out of the old control board or charging board take some silicone put it in there after you get the silicone on there you want to take it and go ahead and put it in all right after you got them all hand tight this one seems to be stripped that one's tight you don't want to over tighten these because this is just a little control board so it will break all right i think that's good just a little snug all right now it's time to hook everything back up all right now we got it all plugged back in this one as well it'll shoot a little just a tiny little spark in there but that's what these big odd wheels will do so now I'm gonna just put the top back on and you're good to go so let's test it out So far, everything seems to be working. All right, then you put your cap back on, just two screws there. And what I did was I put some silicone where the wires, where it comes in, just to give it a little more waterproofing. And right there too, you can see, put some there. So let's put the top on and that'll do it.